Number 13. You are looking to purchase a small piece of land in Hong Kong. The price is only $60,000 per square meter. The land title says the dimensions are 20 meters by 30 meters. How much would the total price change if you measured the parcel with a steel tape measure on a day when the temperature was 20 degrees Celsius above normal? So first, let's start with the question. It's asking us what, uh, by how much would the total price change? So we know that price in a problem, right, for this one, the price, I'll say P sub L, the price of the land, would be equal to the dollars right, per square foot, or in this case, per square meter, I should say, multiplied by the number of square meters. Okay, so now for this, the change then in the price of the, uh, of the piece of land, I'll put a little delta there, will be equal to which of the two, I'll call them variables, are changing. Well, the price per square meter is going to stay the same. It's $60,000 per square meter. It's the number of square meters that may change because the tape measure that's being used is under a higher temperature than when it, let's say, was used to measure the plot originally. So obviously we're going to get a different, the tape measure will still read 20 by 30, but it might not actually be 20 by 30 relative to the dimensions that were measured originally. So this is the price, or excuse me, this is the variable that will change. So what I can do now is just stick a little delta here. Okay, delta. Now this is an area, right? Square meters is an area. So in other words, I can just, you know, rework the formula this way, that the change in price of the land will equal the price per square foot. Uh, I keep saying that because uh, apparently I, I can't remember anything. Uh, this is square meter multiplied then by the area or the change in area. Now, according to our formulas, we realize that we can find the change in area, right? If we know the uh, coefficient of change, right? Coefficient of length change, I should say, for uh, steel. And we know the original area, which we do, and the change in temperature. So we know all of those variables. So in other words, I can just simply now expand on this equation and write now two times the alpha for steel multiplied by the original area, I'll call it A sub I, and multiplied by then that change in temperature. And we have all the variables we need. So this is fairly straightforward. So the price per square meter, it's only $60,000 times two multiplied by then that alpha of 12 times 10 to the minus six, times in the initial area, which is 20 by 30, times in the change in temperature, and they said that it's gonna be 20 degrees above normal. Okay, so there you go. And let's see what the price change works out to be. So there's gonna be 60,000 times two times 12 times 10 to the minus six times 20 times 30 times 20. And we get about 17,280, I guess two sig figs here. So this is just gonna be $17,000. That will be the change in the price. And voila. All right, guys, hopefully this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Take care.